Hi, I'm Elena. And I'm Karen. And I'm Theodore. Today, we will be showing you our robot structure and videos on how the robot works. This is a photo of us. We will be showing some pictures of our robot and share and write the cut of the robot on. This is our robot dash It has kept it with two large meters which help the robot to easily cross the speed lines and the rest. The forward facing hand printer detects obstacles and the blue plate in the rank. It also is also used to detect the light and the blue in the evaporation zone and also differentiate between the blue and green evaporation point. We have to make sure that the center is high enough to clear the speed line but low enough to detect the small speed line blue plate. Our robot has a good and low cloud which can move and grab the blue plate and and get in a basic sense. Our original part is that it's a little bit different, causing the object to get out. In our final result on the right, we have to add things to increase the friction of the car. The robot has a sorting mechanism that can sort items into two designated slots. We use the medium motor as it is more compact and we placed it lower in the robot so that the robot is more stable. The robot has two storage channels which um, are large enough to store the dead victim on one side and two live victims and the blue cube on the other side. Once the trigger is pressed, the balls fall out of the robot's storage channels. We have to make sure that the height of the trigger is under 6 cm so that it can be activated with the evacuation point walls. We will show you some videos of our robot and the different functions that allows it to work. This function updates the right, left, and middle RGB values and also does the calibration. Calibration makes sure that the white value is 0 and the white value is 1. It also updates the distance sensor value. During our testing, we need to be able to read the sensor values. For example, we need the white and black values for calibration. It takes the calibration value for right and the left green. Then we take the left green value to subtract the right green value. For the right line track, we took the calibration. Then we reset the robot. If the robot distance is less than the distance, it will update the sensor. It will then take 0 0.5 to subtract the calibration value from right here. The left line track checks the value of how much green in the left. The robot then updates the sensor. The red line checks the percentage of red out of the total RGB value, both sensors have high percentage, meaning it is double weight. The function then, um, the double black function returns a boolean value based on the following conditions. The maximum value among the red, green, and blue values on the right color sensor is less than 0 0.2. The maximum value among the red, green, and blue values on the left color sensors is less than 0 0.1. This will just check if both color sensors are detecting black. This will then return a boolean, which is either true or false. Um, this function detects, with, uh, detects whether the total RGB value should be very high, as silver is more reflective than white. Both left and right sensors should be higher than the white value, meaning that it's double silver. The blue cube function checks the percentage of blue out of the total RGB value. The blue should be a higher value than the with other R and B values. The provided Python code defines a function named this, which controls a robot. The code directs the robot to move forward, open and close a clock mechanism, rotate a sorting motor, pause, move backward, and rotate the sorting motor again. It 
suggest a sequence for robotic system, possibly involving picking up and sorting objects. This function basically checks the wall using the TOF sensor. It gets a variable called error, which is what the robot needs to correct to properly track the wall. If the robot has already traveled to all four corners, which is one round, and it detects an exit or entrance, it will exit. The lift ball functions will lift the ball. It will check whether um, the victim is alive or dead. It will then sort the victim in, into each respective slot and deposit them in the red or green zones. Hope you have enjoyed our slides. Goodbye!